Ujguli never ceased to amaze me. Right now, uh, there's a pig. He's just resting there. That pig cannot be bothered. Look, there's this lovely dog in Ujguli. Hello, doggy. Hello. And then there's a pig right there. He's resting. He cannot be bothered. Everything here is natural. So much organic stuff. Piglets over there, the little ones. Now we're meeting another pig. And there's a pig. And there's a cinema. Pig and cinema. <laughs> Look at this place. It's just wonderful. Look, it's, he's got a scratch. He's scratching himself. Scratch yourself, baby. Scratch yourself. Yeah, there's everything. Look, people and pigs. We all have to get along. Damar Jova? Camping? Yes. Ah, maybe no, maybe guest house because it's raining now. Guest house? Yeah, maybe. How much is this guest house? Booking? No, no booking. Just a guest house? Yeah, I just want to check the price. Tomorrow morning, we are going to walk to the mountain there and go to the glacier. I'm not going to climb the glacier, as you guys know. I was singing a song to my friend because he started singing, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. I just thought, you know what, let me use a funny voice. And I was singing, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. <laughs> so that was the way I was singing. It was beautiful and I really love it. <laughs> it is great. I'm loving this place here. If you decide to come to Ujguli and you don't know where to go, come contact me. I will bring you here with no problem at all. They wait on the bus, go round, they run, they run, they run, they run, they run. <laughs> Guys, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. They use horses. We're working on foot, mate. <laughs> This morning we are hiking to uh, Ushguli mountain, it's 10 kilometers to go there, so 10 kilometers there, 10 kilometers back to Ushguli. So we're looking at 5 to 6 hours, but it's a nice walk, it's not too hard. You don't have to worry how, how hard is this trail from Ushguli to the glacier because it's much flatter than you think. So I will say, come to Ujguli, actually take a hike all the way from Mestia to Ujguli. And if you still have energy, hike from Ujguli to that mountain. Shen Sakatelo, you come from Georgia? What's the name of that mountain? Chara. Eh? Chara. Chara. Oh, Chara, okay. They said the mountain is called Shara, where the glacier is. A name of glacier? Glacier name? Yes. Oh, Shara. Oh, Shara glacier and Shara mountain. For all the lazy brothers and sisters, mamas and papas, who call themselves hikers but use horses or cars from Ushguli, to the glacier this is as far as the horses can take you so the horses will come and stop here they charge like 50 lari for a horse ride that's almost 20 20 pounds or 25 dollars and if you come by cars this four by four that's where they stop so from here you still have to walk for an hour and you will know when you get here because there is a cafe over there so that's where you can get a drink or something to eat. You get it from there. So to walk from Ujguli, which is over there, to here, it will take you two hours. But if you're walking slowly, it will take you three 
hours. And from here, only an hour to the mountain over there, to the glacier over there. So you will cross a lot of streams. There are many streams that you cross here. So horses are resting now. They are having something to eat. So from here onwards, you have to walk, guys. There's no cheating. But I don't understand why people use cars and houses to come here if you want to enjoy nature. Because this is so natural and it's a, it's a much easier hike, you see? That's how you pronounce the mountain, Shkhara. S-H-K-H-A-R. Yeah, they got sashlik, mashed potatoes, yogurt, and it's right over there. The thing is, when you're hiking solo, you need hiking poles. Because some terrain has got loads of stones. See all these stones here, and I've got my hiking poles. So they help you with the balance and take the strain off your knees. So you really need these hiking poles. You don't have to buy very expensive ones because they are known to break. So if you buy, these ones are like $20 for a pair. Uh, I, th I think they were like $20 or $30 per pair. So if they break, it's not as bad as a hiking pole that are worth $200. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit tough here. Getting closer and closer to the glacier. You can see there are some more people there. It's falling. Let me let me be safe. Hey, the glacier was falling. I had to run away from that because this thing will kill you. Eh? Ah, I'm safe here. I'll go over there. If you're too scared, you can't do it, man. I mean, you guys can see how beautiful the glacier is. That was falling a little bit, so I had to move away from it. Look at, look how beautiful it is. All that. It's white, it's grayish, it's bluish. It's all glacier. Massive, beautiful stuff. If that storm fall on your head, you are dead, mate. That, that one just flake off there. Behind me is the big glacier, as you guys can see. But I cannot go too close because it keeps breaking. And every time you hear a noise of a stone falling, because you don't have a helmet, it could be aimed at my head. So I have to be extremely careful whatever I'm doing here. I would love to go over there, but no chance. <laughs> it's beautiful over there, but no way, man. I can't do that. Let's inspect it. Melting glacier. You go any closer here, you die. Easier stuff. The, the stones come flying fast. Look, look, there's a stone, there's a stone coming. Like, it's flying, it's flying. A little one. Look, look, stones are flying. Whoa, 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 look at that one. Whoa. The stones fly fast here, mate. They really fly. Look at that. Whoa. You see that? That's mother nature. That's mother nature, guys. I'm right here. Look, I'm holding my rod while let's go here. Just so that I can catch the sound like this. I love this. I, I love hiking. I love coming to glaciers. I love coming to the mountains. And sometimes it's scary. But I love it. It's great. This is a beautiful, beautiful glacier. You, it just feels like there's something in you that tells you to go deeper. But no, only a fool can go in there. And I'm definitely no fool. I'm not going in there. That's it. I think I'm done here. 
if I don't start retreating, I might end up going in there. Let's wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, look. You see? You never know. Look, 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 look. Whoa, whoa, that's a big one. Superb. Oh, ho, ho. that was beautiful. I have to be careful. I have to keep watching for the glacier breaking, collapsing at certain parts. One thing I admire the most on this trip, coming to this glacier, the dogs, they give you a warning. When you start going closer to the glacier, they start barking mad like there's no tomorrow. So I'm grateful for that. There they are, they're really barking. They were like about to pull me away from that, even though I was uh, 10 meters away from the glacier. You see the distance? Where the, the distance where the dogs are and the glacier, the dogs are like 10 meters away. And I got to as close as five, and that's it. This way. This way. Just watch out for the glacier, don't go too close. No. Sometimes, sometimes the dog will bark and try to stop you from going too close. Yeah. yeah. If you go too close. Did you go, did you enter or not? No, 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 no. If, if, if you enter, the chance of you dying is 99%. You die. You, you don't get injured, you die. No yeah, because the, the glacier collapses, yeah. the stones fall. If a stone falls and hit you on your head, that's it. Okay. So, you see? And, and that's a small one. one. Yes. I saw the big, another one move yeah. from there. Wow. You see, so you just have to be extremely okay. careful. I know. Yeah. Die. yeah, because I only went up to five, five meters on this side uh -huh. and the dogs were barking like there's no tomorrow. Wow. Then I walked away. As soon as I walked away, there was a big stone coming down. Wow. Yeah. Okay, good luck. The glacier, I'm leaving it. And it's been wonderful. It's been great. I didn't get injured. Nobody got injured. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.